I am crazy, Willie. Bino. Bino, you know, rhymes with Dino. What's the matter? You don't understand English? Dino, everybody loves somebody. What's the matter? You think I'm wearing a piece? I'm clean. I'm running a business here, not a shooting gallery. All right, we're gonna make this nice and simple. We either get our truck back or we bury you underneath this store. Forgive me for not laughing, but I always find the baby's first step to be a very serious thing. Nobody comes in here and threatens me under my own roof. Especially when I'm eating a tuna fish sandwich. Smith said this guy was Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes, huh? What other TV program do you watch regularly? All right, I don't know what your game is, but we want that truck back. <laughs> the only thing a crazy Willie ever gives back is trouble. You mess around with one of my boys, I rip off one of your trucks. Fair is fair. Can I help you with anything? This is a friend of mine. We call him Mayhem. All right, you want a war? We'll give you a war. All right. Red, and you're dead. Take one, off the top. It's your lucky day. You don't even get to bleed on the carpet. Now you tell your friends, I sell auto parts. If they want some, they should come down here and see me. I'll provide the lunch. Nobody sticks his hand into my candy jar and gets away with it. You're supposed to see to that. Jimmy. I don't need punks around me who can't handle things. Jimmy, I'm telling you, that crazy Willie is bananas. He's liable to do anything. No, no, no. The only thing he's going to do is bleed. You understand? Now get these guys together and arm them. We're going to move in on that auto store today. Oh, 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 and one more thing. Grab that foreman who started all this trouble. We're going to put him in the ground. Shopping, I got a dog. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Let's see what kind of a dog. Hey, get him out of here. Come on, let's go. Give me the kid. Move! Daddy, Daddy, what are they doing? It looks good. I think they're all in there. Murdoch, where were you? You're supposed to relieve me back there. Well, I lost my... In the... Yeah, I'll get, get my gun. Police officer, treat! All right, turn around. Up against the wall. All right, now. Move. National Motors Internal Security. You're under arrest for grand theft. All right, now, nice and easy. Over against the wall. Uh, now look, you, you probably won't believe this, but what you see is really not what you see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. All right, let's go hands up against the wall. We had you under surveillance since you started working at the plant. I had no idea you had this big of an operation. Well, now, if you'd see Rudy Garcia, I mean, he's a foreman at the plant. He can explain a lot of this. Rudy Garcia, huh? <laughs> what are you guys trying to pull? We just got word that Rudy Garcia and his wife and kid were kidnapped. And you guys are the prime suspects. Look, man, we ain't kidnapped nobody. Wait a minute. I've seen you three before. I've seen your pictures before. I don't believe it. You guys are the A-team. I, I caught the A-team. My lord, the A-team? I've heard of them. They're them fugitives that are wanted all across the country. 
You mean I've been standing here working side by side with members of the A team? There's a, there's a reward out for those guys. I would never believe it. Here I am, just a dumb clerk. I wouldn't have believed it, never in a million years. Of course, I always have my suspicions. Never did trust this one. It's in BI. <clears throat> Hold on, be careful. I know their reputation. They're deadly. We're going to have to tie them up. Uh, okay. Um, we'll use this chain. Guard, so then shall you find another. My foot, I think, is broken. Take it easy. Just take it easy. I can't walk, and all because of you. Now, you know it was just an accident. Now, let me see this here. Look at my foot. You're going to make it worse. Now, listen. I can help you, but you have to listen to me. Do you understand? Pain is in the head, so if you think it hurts, it's going to hurt. But you got to think nice things. Just, just think happy thoughts. Go ahead. Okay. I'm thinking you got hit by a bus. Well, mm. then you ought to be feeling better already. Now, <laughs> Tell me when it hurts, all right? Hey, how about? Tell this fool to leave me alone. You're actually going to try and get this tank working? We're not going to try. We're going to do it. Hey, DA, how we doing? Uh, not too good, man. All the hoses are rotted, and the tubing is rusted through. But we should be able to use the trucks. Colonel, we got a problem. The battery in the truck is shot. We got no juice. Well, how would the battery from an airplane work? Why didn't I think of that? We'll rip off Murdoch. Yeah, he'll never forgive me. Mission accomplished, sir. Captain Fallon was dropped off safely at the hospital, and I uh, brought some uh, some tank ammo with me. But, uh, sir, you and the other guys, you haven't by any chance come across some um, uh, small worms, water insects, toads, or tadpoles, have you? Because uh, while the gator's getting hungry, and that coffee I put out for him, uh, it doesn't set with him too well. He's getting jittery. First things first, Murdoch. The tank, Murdoch. The tank. The tank, the tank, the tank, the tank. And it is a beautiful tank. It is inspirational. This is survival in its purest form. A motionless body resting for 40 years, patient, waiting for discovery to breathe life into its very soul. I'm going to breathe my fist into your soul if you don't stop all this jibber jabber. Turn off. Go to work. To work. Work.
attention to him, Wale. The man has constraints on his brain. He has no understanding of the finer things in life of music. You know, Face, I like having a tank. Yeah. And won't Viscari be surprised? <laughs> <laughs> and won't he be surprised when we attack from the east about yeah. 45 minutes before noon? I thought you were making your attack from the west. Yeah, well, I just told you that, so when you told Viscari, he'd be in the wrong place when we attack today. How'd you know? I'm a light sleeper. I followed you. I was afraid of what Viscari might do to the villagers if, if you didn't succeed. I, I was just doing what I thought was best for everyone. Yeah, aren't we all? Well, don't worry about it, lady. You did what I wanted you to do. All right, let's mount up. should be coming over that hill. They don't have a chance. 